Hey, I'm Melissa and I am from Resilience Law. I'm a social security lawyer and I'm here to answer your questions about social security. Um, and so I am answering questions today from reddit.com and this question is firing my attorney. How do you fire your attorney? Um, this person has an attorney that they haven't even connected with. They don't know their attorney's name. They don't know if it's a man or a woman uh, or other and they haven't even spoken to them. And so calls to the office keep getting bounced back and the case manager is, is difficult to get a hold of. Unfortunately, this is all too common. I get a lot of cases who have already hired an attorney from some big conglomerate form that they never hear from the attorney. The attorney doesn't talk to them. Um, they may not even remember signing the paperwork with this firm and now they're trapped. Uh, and so the answer is you can fire your social security attorney. Uh, the way to do so is let your attorney know, ideally in writing, e even email is okay. Uh, and then let social security know. So write social security a letter and say, listen, I am discharging XYZ attorney. Uh, you don't have to give any reasons and then send it off. Um, if your attorney, I mean, certainly it's worth talking to your attorney if you can. Uh, if it's one of these big firms where you can't talk to them, then all right, no need for a discussion. If it's a smaller attorney and you're just having trouble getting along, it may be worth a call, but certainly there's some bad apples out there. Um, but a caveat, uh, if you are applying for Social Security and you have an attorney and then you get another attorney, the attorneys have to duke it out about who gets paid for representing you. Uh, and it can be extremely difficult to get a new attorney paid if there was a previous attorney on the claim. Um, I will take claims where the previous attorney has discharged any fee and says, listen, I don't want any of the money. I didn't do any of the work. However, that's easier said than done. Most of these big firm attorneys won't do that and then the, once your claim is processed, if you win benefits, uh, Social Security will hold a chunk of money for your attorney's payment and it's stuck. Uh, attorneys have to submit a fee petition. They have to submit an itemization of hours. And then they have to wait for the judge to make a decision which can take over a year. And then they have to wait to get paid by the payment center, which can take at least another six months. So um, it can make it much more difficult to hire a second attorney if you fire your first attorney. So make sure that that's what you want to do. If you can get that first attorney to write a notice that they are waiving their fee, they don't want any part of it, they're ready to cut ties and say sayonara. So the closer you get to hearing, the more difficult that's gonna be. If I've just been retained and someone wanted to change attorneys for whatever reason, I would be happy to waive a fee, but if it's the night before hearing and I get discharged, I'm gonna fight for, for the work that I did do, I'm happy to be reasonable and split the fee, but I'm not going to just give it up because I've done work on your claim. Uh, so something to bear in mind, uh, don't sign with a big firm unless you're sure that's the way that you want to go. Um, you know, I've seen big firms advertise they've won over a million dollars for social security claimants. Well, that might be a million dollars for a uh, hundred thousand people and each person only gets a... Uh, thousand bucks or something. <laughs> Math isn't my strong suit, but basically, you know, I, I would always argue that you need the smallest uh, law firm that you can get, or at least a medium-sized firm where you can talk to somebody, you know who your attorney is, you've shaken their hand, and you know that this person is willing to work with you going forward versus a big firm where you are a number in a file cabinet and nobody there cares about you at all. Um, I care about my clients. My name is Melissa at Resilience Law, and I know a lot of my other small firm attorneys throughout the country feel the same. We really work hard for the clients that we have. Um, so that's my answer. You want to fire your attorney? Go ahead and do it. Particularly these big firms won't even be a, a, a drop in the bucket in terms of uh, how their claims, how they're going to process your claim or if they even care. They don't care. You're a number to them. You're a number in a file cabinet. So that's my rant about firing your attorney and hiring a good attorney. If you have any questions, my name's Melissa. Give me a call, drop a uh, comment in the comment section, and I'll get back to you.